in this video i explain block or so break so there is a two type of block or so break is that so here you see this is the single block or so is that okay so it is called as the single block break and break in which two block or two so are used it is called as the two block or so break so i discuss the two type of block or so break one is the single so break and second one is the double so break so first we discuss about the single block or so break a single block or so break is consist of a block or so which is pressed against the rim of revolving break wheel drum as shown in a figure in this diagram you see this is the wheel they are rotating and we need to stop the wheel so how we stop this wheel just we press this lever from this side okay and the shoe is come in a contact with the wheel and the wheel is start to stop so this is the function of single block shoe brake why its name is single block because we use the single shoe that's why its name is given the single block or shoe brake this brake is used in railway trains and tram cars the frictional resistance between the block and the wheel cause the braking force to act on the wheel so this is the rotating wheel this is the shoe or block so when the shoe and the wheel come in a contact at that time frictional resistance is create and due to this frictional resistance the wheel is reduce its speed or it stops resulting the rotational speed of the wheel is reduce the pony brake is example of block brake so pony brake is the example of a block or shoe brake so where it is actually used it is used in a bicycle in a bicycle two shoe are there okay so this is a simple example so it is the bicycle brake is example of the double block or shoe brake single shoe brake is used in a railway trains and a tram cars before moving ahead to the double shoe brake i request to like the video and subscribe my channel for watching the more video related to basic mechanical engineering and other subject of mechanical engineering for bme subject various link is provide in descriptions as well as in a card for other subject i request to visit the playlist now second type is the double block or shoe brake so in this brake two brake block or shoe is used at the opposite ends of the wheel as shown in a diagrams so here in this diagram you see this is the rotating wheels and we need to stop it okay or we need to reduce the speed of the wheel and here two block is used opposite side to each other so this is the one block this is the second blocks this is called as the brake arm this is the bell crank lever and here the one spring is used the first diagram is for the engage position so here you see that the block and the wheels are in contact so wheel is stop to rotate when the wheel and the block are in a disengaged positions at that time the wheel is rotate this shoe apply force to both the side of the wheels and reduce the unbalanced force on the shaft so in a earlier case means in a single block shoe breaks the shoe is provide only on the one side okay so the shoe is apply some force on the wheel and the wheel is rotate unbalanced because the force is uneven so this this advantage is remove in a double block shoe break that the two shoe is provided so both the side the same pressure same force is applied on the wheels so unbalanced forces are not there on the shaft the spring pull the upper end of the brake arm together and brake is applied so in this diagram you see the spring is pulls so here in this diagram you see the spring is pulled and in this case second case the spring is compressed so when the spring is pulled the block is come in a contact with the wheel and the brake is applied when force p is applied to the bell crank lever the spring is compressed and the brake is released so here we applied some pressure on this bell crank lever so here you see we applied the some force on the bell crank lever the spring is compressed and the wheel and block are the disengage and the brake is release this brake is used 
in electric cranes so in electric crane this type of the brake is used the bell crank lever is operated by solenoid or mechanically so when we apply this force manually here so it is mechanically operated in some automatic systems the brake is hydraulically operated and for operate hydraulically they require the solenoid valves so if there is a no force on the bell crank lever the brake is engaged automatically due to the spring force means when we are not provide any force on this bell crank lever so here you see the we are not applying any force on the bell crank lever and the brake is in engaged position due to this force of the spring the bicycle brake is example of double block brake as shown in a figure so in a bike uh, bicycle you see this is the wheel and both the side of the wheel the brake block is provided or the big uh, brake shoe is provided and it is controlled by one string and the handle of the string is provided on the steering so when brake apply by pulling a string the block is moved to the wheel rims so this is the brake in action position means when we applied the brake in a bicycles the string of the brake is pull and this block brake is come in a contact with the wheel and the speed of the bicycle is reduced or the either the we stop the bicycles when friction between the block and the rim of the wheel is converts the cycle kinetic energy into the height as they reduce its speeds so when this block is come in the contact with the wheel at that times this block is absorb the kinetic energy of the wheels and this kinetic energy of the wheel is converted into the heat energy and then after this heat energy is released into the atmosphere and the speed of the wheel is reduced but when the string is released means when we are not press the brake of the bicycle so brake is in the release position or a string is in the release position so due to this spring force the block move away from the wheel rim here you see this spring is provided okay so when it is not the press conditions at that time the due to spring force the block is move away from the wheel rim and the brake is not in action so in the second diagram you see so here this spring is compressed and due to this the block and the wheel are not in contact and the brake is in not in action condition so thank you for watching this video if you learn something like the video subscribe my channels and don't forget to share with your friends